continue monitoring that particular developing story for you. But staying on Mata's health, once again, the Ministry of Health has re-advertised the position for Director General for Health, marking the third time the vacancy has been posted without success in filling the role, which is currently being held in an acting capacity by Dr. Patrick Amoth. Critics, particularly labor relations experts, say the prolonged absence of a substantive office holder poses a threat to good corporate governance. This latest advertisement for the position has been criticized by advocates of good governance who view the delay in appointing a permanent director general as a significant governance issue. Gloria Milimo reports. The re-advertisement for the position of Director General for Health at the Ministry of Health continues to elicit mixed reactions. Proponents of good governance have termed the delay in having a substantive office holder for years an ISO. We recruited along the entire spectrum. This is not the first time the position currently being held is being advertised while still being held by Dr. Patrick Amoth in acting capacity. In fact, the advertisement of the position by the Public Service Commission has happened at least twice this year alone. The first announcement was made in June 2022. Arriving in the country. But questions abound as to... which is responsible for appointing other duties is yet to fill the position or rather confirm Dr. Amoth. Amoth is said to be more than qualified for the position. The issue around that position has been what was put in the Health Act. You know there's this danger of you put in place a law ring fencing it for certain cadres of certain people. Okay. So anytime public service uh, advertise for that position because the, the, the Act now says that it has to be a medical a officer. Mm -hmm. Other cadres, the nurses are saying, no, we can also make good uh, director generals. Yeah. The clinical officers, the public health, the nutritionists, other cadres are saying now they can make good director generals as well. So if you look at the advert that went out latest, I think uh, two days ago, is that now that space has been Expand. opened up yeah. and expanded, mm -hmm. that if you have a course in medical related field, that has now been expanded. Based on that expansion, then these other cadres can apply. So now Amoth is applying as well. And I have confidence, given the, the experience that he has, mm -hmm. he should emerge as the best, unless he fumbles during the interview. When you do not have a substantive office holder, good corporate governance suffers because the appointing authority in this case is, a, is not a person who should be appointing, he's not a substantive director general. So he would want to please possibly the, 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 the appointing authority. Dr. Amoth wears many hats. Apart from being a consultant gynecologist and obstetrician, his role in helping the country fight COVID-19 is something that majority remember him for whenever he is mentioned. Amoth also previously served as the Directorate of Public Health, where he spearheaded strategy development and oversaw the delivery of health across the 47 counties. He was also involved in the inception and actualization of universal health coverage. Apart from that, among other positions he held before joining the government was being a chief medical specialist and senior deputy director of medical services at the Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital in Nairobi. Experts have termed the delay in his confirmation discriminatory and oppressive. They argue that Dr. Amoth is celebrated widely for his expertise that even earned him the position of Vice President of Executive Board of the World Health Organization, where he represents Africa. Unfortunately, back home, the country seems not interested in tapping into his wide knowledge that is critical in shaping the health sector. While responding to queries regarding the delay last year in October, Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nakumicha said PSC was to blame for the delay in confirming Dr. Amoth. It is said that the re-advertisement was occasioned by complaints by other cadres who felt discriminated against in the requirements outlined for the position that requires the applicant to be a registered member of the Doctors' Union KMPDU. 
Among other responsibilities, a Director General is expected to be the technical advisor to the Government and Cabinet Secretary for Health on matters health within the sector. The holder of the position draws a basic salary of between 292,765 shillings and 576,120 shillings per month. Some of the qualifications for the position requires the applicant to be a medical practitioner registered by the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Council, at least to be a holder of a master's degree in public health, medicine or any other health-related field. They must also have an experience of at least 10 years in management of health services, five of which must be at a senior management position. The holder must also have a registration certificate and a valid practicing license from KMPDC. Lastly, the person must meet the provisions of Chapter 6 of the Constitution of Kenya. For now, it remains to be seen whether PSC will finally fill the position. But most importantly, who they will settle for to fill the gap. Gloria Milimu, KT News. Thank you, Gloria, for that. Now to the corridors of justice, where Chief Justice Martha Ko 